everybody, welcome back to my channel, this is Rickety Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are back with Control. This is the foundation, this is the DLC, and we are going through trying to find all of the secrets in here. Evidently, I missed a couple things. I didn't talk to Dr. Underhill, and I didn't talk to Langston. When you guys said talk to everybody, you meant everybody. So, I feel like we should immediately go to talk to them first, and then deal with the nail. I know it's an emergency for the board, but you know, the information and the secrets is also important. Our task for today is going to the base camp section of the underneath here where we're at in the foundation. Um, and we have to go and complete the ritual to repair the orbs down in the base camp area. There's three more, I believe. They said there's four. Uh, we just did the one that was over here in the warehouse and we climbed all the way up to do it, so we gotta go all the way down now to find the other ones. So I'm sure the other ones are either in between or somewhere down there in the base camp. So before we do that, really quickly, <laughs> let's go to the Panopticon and talk to Langston. All this paranatural power contained in one place is a risk. Ooh, Makes we... me wonder what other dangers are locked away inside the Bureau. Uh-oh. We got thoughts. Langston! Well, now the trench is gone. Rest is soul. I really need to dig out my own proposal on better containment practices. No Hi. Ritual. Hello, ma'am. I heard about your little tussle over in nostalgia. So, uh, good house cleaning and things will get back to normal, right? Right? I mean, our normal, anyway. Can I get a situation report for the sector? Whew, okay, uh, we still have to perform a proper inventory of the cells. Lord knows how many altered items snuck out during all this. Staffing, we definitely lost some people. Uh, Gonna have to hit those college career fairs, am I right? Huh. <laughs> Hard to imagine the FBC at job fairs. For real, though. The hiss are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the containment sector is stable. Ish. Uh, Considering the alternative, I'm happy with stable ish. Stable ish? <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy with stable ish. Any thoughts on me serving as director? I know it was a sudden change. Oh, uh, no complaints so far. <laughs> Trench was all secrets, lots of meetings behind closed doors. You seem much more approachable. But if I can give you some advice, ma'am, keep a grip on who you are. I've been here a long time, and I don't know if it's the job or this place, but people change here, and not for the better. I'll try to keep my head on straight. I feel like we have a pretty good head on our shoulders in general. Like, she, Jesse's pretty one track minded. And in this sense, that's a good thing because you need to be focused in order to get shit done. And Jesse, in all of that time, has been getting stuff done, but also is focused on what matters to her. And I think that that kind of um, adheres to Langston's point there. So I, th I, think, we I think we'll be all right. What about you? Will you stay on after things calm down, Langston? Are you asking if I'm quitting? Oh no, ma'am. I'm not having some mid-level agent make a mess of my panopticon. Plus, I'm racking up serious overtime hours with this lockdown. Just don't take too long clearing out the hiss. My cat gets separation anxiety. I'll do what I can. <laughs> he must have gotten a pet sitter. I don't know. I don't... I don't... <laughs> He doesn't strike me as the person who's gotten a pet sitter, like... I'll he, see you later, Langston. He strikes me as, like... I'll be here. I'll take care of my cat. Like always. It's interesting that she would assume that they might leave. I mean, they've all been here taking care of all this stuff for so long. I can't imagine that they would want to leave. They also seem to be used to, you know... The, well, the oddity, yes, but, like, also, like, the sudden changes in management although trench seems like he had the position for quite some time but i mean as langston said jesse seems a lot more like approachable and more what's the word like 
open and is kind of a, a refresh that it seems like the FBC needs. Um, so I think they would be inclined to stay on to make sure that their respective departments run okay. But while they're here, you know, getting to experience that refresh, that, that overhaul in management and the way things are run, I think they'll probably appreciate that and then want to stay. Not that any of them seem like they would leave, even if they... I would say even if they had the option, they do have the option, but like they just don't seem like they want to leave. And I don't blame them. This is a very unique position to be in. Um, and they're all uniquely suited to it. The only one that might leave would be Dr. Underhill. If we can find her. She was in research. Yes. No, not the sub-level. It was the active threshold. I think it was this one. Ah, yes, okay. <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Underhill is not that way. Oh no, yeah, she's that way. Um, Dr. Underhill is um, on temporarily, so it seems like she would be the only one who's like, no, I won't stay. But we'll find out. Maybe she wants her job back now that all this shit's developed in a weird way. Hi. Nothing to mumble to yourself? Do you need something? What, yeah, what? What about I you? I assume you'll be staying with us until the mold is eradicated. Indeed. Until I find a permanent resolution to this pesky fungus business, I'll be here. Perhaps even beyond that, seeing as you are quite... understaffed at the moment. <laughs> Though, I hardly have a say in my own comings or goings. Your oldest house won't open the exits until those hiss monstrosities are cleared out. True. Glad to have you along for the ride. How is the status of the mold? Will the mold be under control anytime soon? We were barely containing it with weakly controlled burns. Just look at how it has spread after a few days of non-interference. It's beyond the threshold now. The floodgates are open. So that's a no. Americans. <laughs> with Darling gone, I'm putting Emily Pope in charge of the research sector. Are you okay with that? Perfectly. You have pulled Excalibur from the stone and now decree as you see fit, O oh Queen. Ooh. What a true meritocracy we live in. Glad to hear it. Okay, well, to be fair, you said you were here temporarily before we had this conversation. And second of all, your like specialism is mold. You know, your speciality. Uh, you do mold, lady. Like, Emily does a little bit of everything, it seems. Sorry, not sorry. I had a dream or something like one. Darling was there. He told me something, but I can't remember what. I think he's gone. Right. Well, he's never where one expects him to be, is he? Well, thank God. I can finally stop writing these tedious reports that I'm sure he never even took the time to glance at. If you speak to him again, can you tell him I... I hope he found what he was looking for. I'll try. I should be getting back to work. Ooh, we got some emotion out of her. She's been so stuck up this entire time. And we finally got... Um, some emotion out of her. I don't, there's no else, no way else to put that. She seems sad. Um, you guys mentioned that, there's somebody in the comments that mentioned that, um, she's actually his 
girlfriend. Um, and then I actually do know this from the Dark Place DLC, um, the AWE, because I wandered into it thinking, oh, it was just a random mission. And it actually was way more than that. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do two DLCs at the same time. So I stopped where I was. I found the checkpoint but I only read a bunch of stuff that was down there in the investigation sector and one of them did confirm what you guys mentioned in the comments which is that they're actually in a relationship so she's actually really sad that he's gone and that's actually really sad I mean in general it's sad but um it's you know she's so she has this like aura of being super stuck up and stubborn and um kind of high and mighty and it's kind of sad to see that stripped away when she realizes that um the person that kind of had her back and respected her i think the most probably here is gone and beyond you know that respect and that kind of um colleague status that they had going on is just someone that she cared about so oh i'll see you later raya dr underhill if you please. I was gonna say we're on a first name basis. You're still a bitch, but I'm um, sorry about your boyfriend. All right, now we're gonna get back to the mission at hand and uh, go find some strange balls and caverns and fix them back so that we can complete the ritual so that the astral plane doesn't completely overtake our whole life here. So. I'll see you guys on the flip side, or I should say, on the underside, at the bottom. Alrighty! Who's that? Do we have people down here now? Ooh, we do! Oh, Emily's down here, what? I was gonna say, now that we're down here, we talked to everybody, what? Jesse, hey! Emily, Hello, how did she get down here? How indeed. What are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I did it. No, that's right. You didn't. But then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. <laughs> the board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire bureau. And possibly beyond. Yeah. That's what I'm here to stop. Yep. The board told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the locks. astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. I'm sure you Did will. Did you notice all the bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Do you think Darling knew about this? I'd put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. Will do, ma'am. Hope's collection. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, it is a little scary that she's that she says that we called her down here and told her how to get in when we didn't. On the other hand, there was a moment when we 
first saw the astral plane bleeding in and we jumped across the the giant like forms to get to the other side and when jesse said i wish emily pope was down here with me she said i wish i brought emily with me and in that moment polaris did like a thing maybe polaris took the form of jesse and like spoke to all Emily. the tests I run on the nail keep coming back as nonsense and a couple of my instruments have already broken maybe we should take that as a sign to pack it in I didn't take you for a quitter dr. Saba there's a reason I packed a black rock plated microscope <laughs> um but yeah I'm just gonna get away from them so we don't hear them talk but like me so maybe maybe Polaris like got Emily down here for us, like to protect us. Maybe. And we already established that thing is the former. Ugh. I'm sure we're gonna have to face that thing again. So we gotta get to base camp. Base camp was somewhere this way. So let's do that. Alrighty. Base camp, here we come. So let's slowly make our way down here. I'm sure nothing totally dangerous is going to be down here in the fog. I love that I can just float all the way down. That's pretty great. It's mighty dark down here. Ooh, we should definitely get that. Oh, not that. Could be good. When we dodge, we get ammo. <sighs> we go lower? Is it up there? Am I tripping? So that's a dead end. The base camp is this way. Oh, I see it. I didn't need to come down here. Just for that thing? Okay, that's a bit sad. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright, we're back up here. So I see it here. Thank goodness I got this power. What if I didn't get this power? Like, what if I chose the other one? Is there a different way to get to base camp? Probably. Woo, we made it. Is there anything over here? Nope. Oh man, this place is so vast. It's crazy cool though. Oh, more of you guys. Where'd you go? No, thank you. I'm good. Did you see that? There was hiss and he's gone. Did he get evaporated? Did he get did he get uh taken by the the geyser? Oh whoa. I made a shield.
Wouldn't hit the side of a barn, I swear. Whoa. My lord. Doing good, and by good, I mean horrible. All right, well, that was uh, over dramatic for no apparent reason. <laughs> is this just an extra thing? I think it is. They usually seem to be like a little extra. Get one of these guys. Whoever made these and put them everywhere is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful. There's a bunch of like non icicle icicle rocks that are poised at the top, ready to murder me. Kaboom! Happy New Year! Oh, hi! Gotcha. Were you having lunch break up there or what? I still don't trust these rock structures. I feel like something's gonna pop out of them time. Whoa! A what now? Well, that's not good. damage. Is he not gonna shoot at me? I'll take it! Is he stuck? He's stuck. Knocking him out. I see this guy too. Buddy? Did I get him? No way. Oh, whoa! So you can play that game. Where are you? Whoa! Where'd you go? Rude as fuck! He's made out of rocks. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, fuck. You were taking your sweet ass time to come here. I love us. Oh, I took him. <laughs> that was great. Well, he's definitely dead now. <laughs> Picked him up. Get out of here. I'll take the health things you'll give me, though. Any bits? Bobs? <laughs> Pieces? I'll take that. Whoa. So this is a, an interesting sight. Is this doing the thing? Nope. So it looks like I actually destroyed a little hole over here. Is it... Is it open? It's shiny. No? Open sesame? Nope. Just, uh, just, just broken wall. Oh. 
like a big oh a lot of you guys it's a big structure basically in the middle but not necessarily like a door or anything okay does it have carving on the front no just giggles <laughs> And that guy came around this way. Okay. So it's just a giant crystal. That's okay. We can deal with that. This means we keep on our merry way. This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floors? Oh. <laughs> oh that was cool. Thanks for letting me in. rock. Any pieces of paper to read? Seems like a no. Oh. I thought I saw the aim thing. Well, we love setting off these metal detectors. I am a danger. Complete the ritual in the collapsed department. Ooh. So, it looks like they did try to set something up here and it just didn't work. I wonder... Because Theodore Ash was kind of implying that, like, they were down here long before they went up to the FBC where it is currently. So I kind of wonder... Whoa. There's something behind that his barrier. I wonder if this was, like, their first, um, division. And then it, like... Did I not destroy this? Um, and that's why everything else looks like this. So that's just shadow, okay. Got a lot of these. And they're all kind of destroyed. Whoa. So, do I go back? I definitely can't make it to those. Too far. I'll fall. Ooh, look at this. Data entry and filing? Control point. There is set up enough here to have some snacks. What do we have for snacks? Is it empty? Well, that's sad. So that's closed. No snacks, no machine. Ah-ha! I see. Can I- oh. And there's nowhere else. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I got the name of the game. Correspondence. Shift account number one. To whoever finds this, I am containment processes designer Jian Gibbs. And I'm writing this to document the largest building shift ever to occur. Here are the facts. A considerably large section of the containment sector, including the processes and protocols offices, our research facilities, and a fair chunk of the firebreak has been yanked down to a chasm that reaches far below the lobby level, I think? It was a violent shift, and I regret to report several casualties. Injuries were sustained by all, but many of us, myself included, are still mobile. We've set up a base camp and started triaging, there are little supplies. We explored the surroundings and found caverns of all things. Maybe we're in some kind of cave threshold, like the quarry? Wherever we are, we're not the first. There were some rusty power cores, old lights, signs, infrastructure. What was this area used for? Why did they seal it off? 
Why have we never heard of it? More importantly, how are we going to get out? Hi, Editor Sydney here. So I just realized that I kind of explained this poorly and I, I didn't really put the pieces together when I was reading this note and the others that follow. So containment processes designer Gibbs here was working in the oldest house and experienced a huge building shift that moved her entire sector, uh, her whole containment sector down into the foundation. Like they collapsed into the foundation, which is why this infrastructure is here. And I think that's what had happened because she's asking questions about like, why was this here? There's old lights, there's old infrastructure here. And I will go into how, you know, she doesn't know about it because everybody moved uh, up to the oldest house and sealed this place off. I'm going to talk about that in literally like two seconds. But um, for some reason, I did not connect the dots here while I was filming this, that she was in the oldest house, fell into the foundation, and that that is what happened. So I just wanted to clarify that. Anyway, carry on. So yeah, that's something that we read in the last episode. Theodore's team um, were writing that they were going to be relocated. I think it's this one. Yeah. Um, that they're basically going to be out, that they figured out a way to like stop the shifts above so that they can get the building that the oldest house is um, that we know it to be and that basically they can make it either stable or at least find places where they're not going to shift and be crushed and when they moved up there they closed off um, this whole underneath foundation area um, with the few exception of people being able to come down here Northmar is one of them Dr. Darling was one of them and we now know Marshall actually became one of them as well so they told no one else about it after they sealed it off. So, that's not a surprise to find people freaking out about why. Can we open it? Bam! Yeah, baby! Kiev? A series of reverberating sounds observed in downtown Kiev with no clear point of origin. The event was witnessed by the city's general public. Mental and physical symptoms were reported, including asphagia, sleep paralysis, and excess in reported individuals. Due to the brief nature of the event, overseas bureau agents were not able to respond while it was active. Immediately upon arrival, agents collected audio recordings taken by local witnesses. All bureau monitoring stations located at global junctions of the acoustic amplification were directed to monitor any auditory events of similar pitch, wavelength, and duration in an effort to trace echoes or epicenters. In the following weeks, similar cases were reported from both various amateur sources and bureau stations in major cities across the globe. The subsequent events diminished in volume and frequency per each occurrence. Event is believed to be generated by planar friction, though this is not confirmed. See file 71849062 for full hypothesis. Interesting. Kiev. Um. What is this? I need a ranger sent to this location, stat. Make way for the director. Whoa. You got here fast. Hi, buddy. Does he come with me? What? He comes with me. What? Why? What's down here? Whoa. So yeah, we did shut up shop. Don't kill my buddy.
Incoming. Take out. Like, I'm ready to roll. He came so fast. Hell yeah. Damn, it's kind of dark down here. Are you my friend? Get out of the window. Thank you. We gotta destroy the place. Help me. Let's get rid of some shit. go all right stop no <laughs> he follows me everywhere I love it yep go the other way go the other way go the other way buddy <laughs> fine I'll just go through the window shall I don't mind me look at all the stuff I have in here hell yeah buddy I wish I could heal him <laughs> he's so enthusiastic <laughs> All right, what's going on in these rooms? I hear the hiss. Oh, how'd you get up here? Did you jump? Can he get up? Oh my God, he's up here. He teleports with me. Should I be worried about you, friend? Damn, these are some rooms. Doesn't look like there's anything in them so far. <sighs> Might as well check the other side, though. Yeah, nothing so far. Huh. <laughs> he just teleports with me. Huh. How very interesting. Alright, well, we will keep on keeping on. We go, what, up here? What is that noise? I, it sounds like the hiss. The hum. Aha! You coming up here, buddy? Where, 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 where? Are you okay? Advance! <laughs> My man, you, you got me riled up for no reason. Surround him! So, who? He's gone crazy. He's gone mad. <laughs> Whoa! Someone call a plumber. Glad no one was around to hear that. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, this is one hell of a bathroom. Computer program says, Dear House of Representatives, my husband, Francis, read an article before he died about how the universe was really just a computer program. He believed it. I thought it sounded silly, but now I think he was right. Francis was hit by a car a few months ago, a drunk driver. I don't think it was supposed to happen. 
My neighbor's son, Jeremy, broke one of our windows with a football a week before Francis died. Francis yelled at Jeremy for it. He was a bit harsh. This is important because I see Jeremy on his computer through their living room window. He's on it all the time. His mother says he is a computer whiz. I think Jeremy is operating the computer program and he changed the universe so that the driver would hit Francis. He did it to get back at Francis for yelling at him. Is there a way to change the computer and make Francis come back? I have some money if it's expensive. I don't know how these things work. I don't care if Jeremy gets in trouble or want, I just want Francis to come home. Francis and I were very happy together. I can feel him not being here and I know it's not right. Sincerely, Stephanie Miller. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, Stephanie. Don't think you can come back. There's a floating toilet, though. If you need, <laughs> if you need it. Whoa. Well, isn't this very fancy? Nice. Can I go to the tops of these things? Nope. Goodbye, cruel world. Dying through the astral toilet. Oh, I'm back in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so you can't go up any further than that. But that's hilarious. Love that. Deployed Ranger number seven, are you doing all right out there? Or are you losing your mind? Yep, he's, uh, he's just hanging. Funny he doesn't follow me up here. Any messages? No? Okay then. So locks are the, the word that I was searching for at the beginning. We need to find the other locks. Whoa. Okay, so we were down below and now we're up. There's a lot of these. Oh, they're just floating. Well, sucks to suck. These doors are always so impressive. Every time. Whoa, the evaluation hall. Well, this is a hell of a thing. Uh, open up all the things. Any astral bathrooms in here? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> that made a satisfying little noise. Oh. More of these. So you guys mentioned that I will get the ability to break them regardless later. So that's good to know. Always dangerous. I see Polaris. Is there a control point nearby? Yes, there is. Hell yeah. Woo! And we get to heal up. Open. Open. Yay, everything's open! You're listening to America Overnight, a beacon in the darkest recesses of possibility for more than 29 years. We have another letter from a listener. This one's unsigned, but postmarked from Toledo. It says, Dear America Overnight, I have the most wonderful appliance for your listeners. It is a miracle of God. A fondue set. <laughs> a fountain. A blessed gift. Blessed is spelled with a capital B. Hmm. Go on, they write. Dive on in. It is molten hot. Perfect for meat. No signature. As far as I know, no fondue set was sent to us here at the studio. Just this letter. Wait, I think there's something else in the envelope. Some kind of black powder with white shards in it? Bone, maybe? Karen, what is this? Karen? You're on the air, Karen, where are you? What? Why is this powder in the booth? 
Is this... is this Ash? Oh. Oh, God. Karen? How do I cut to commercial? Oh. Was that the last episode of America Overnight? Did they get turned to Ash because of a fondue set? Uh-oh. That's hilarious. Knowing their listeners, they'll be like, Oh, uh, funny joke. Little did they know, they actually burnt to ash. Alright. So we got a little shelter here. This looks mighty familiar. Any <laughs> Yeah, that's a no. Can I get in? <laughs> nope. Oh, it's just a thing. Well, that's sad. But okay. So, evaluation hall. Shift to count part two. Gibbs reporting in. It has been eight days since the collapse and still no sign of any rescue efforts. The Bureau is either completely unaware of our situation or incapable of helping us. Or maybe it's intentional. How many times have we seen the Bureau not give two shits about its own hard-working staff and then when they go missing in this place? How many times did we let it slide thinking, oh, at least it wasn't me? Too many, I'm ashamed to admit. Anyway. There have been some developments. Strange crystals have begun growing through the walls. They seem to block some corridors, but not others. The path to the caves is always left open, but we're not sure why. Luckily, the crystals keep out the astral spike. One's been hounding us for days. John, Nikolai, and Sarah went to try and find a radio, but never came back. We think the spike got them. I think it's hunting us. Doug says spikes only exist in the astral plane, so what the fuck is it doing here? If we get out of here, I'm hiring a lawyer. These are unsuitable working conditions. Good luck with that! So there's an astral spike that we gotta deal with? Is that what I just read? Oh boy! Warning! Altered item detected in transport bay. Access is prohibited for safety regulation 18.A. So I can't open the door. Because the astral spikes in there? Sounds about right. Row. Oh yeah. So that's the altered item. Looks pretty secure. Oh. No power. Typical. Naturally, naturally. It's always the fuses. Doesn't matter what year we're in. Transit engine. So, okay. Hmm. Gotta put it back. Langston, I found another toy for ya. So dark. I should hire someone who built smaller machines. <laughs> yeah, for real. So what are these? We need to turn on the power. Not on. Power cores. Any in here? Hey! Yay! I love power cores. They did look like they belonged in there. Oh, hang on a second. I think I have to open that. I gotta open that. Not that. The grate. Or do I have to put it in? Ooh, I see it. Aha, okay, okay. I see it. I don't have to open anything. I gotta pop it in through the top. Get out of here. Get out of there. And I gotta wait for my power to come back. Alright, now! Now we shove it in. Hopefully it falls into place. Hell yeah, it does. Nice. I love when it works. It works. Excuse me. Not that. Thank you, I want the shiny thing. Yeah, baby! Power 
restored. Yeah, baby! Now we can send it back on its merry way. All right, now go back to where you were going. Can it go be transferred somewhere? Go move it, goodbye. Hopefully you're headed to the Panopticon. We gotta ask Langston about a uh, fondue set. And what it did to overnight America. So can we open this door now? No yeah, we can. Detected in area. We may now safely enter. Yeah. Have a bureau full day. <laughs> around they happen to ruin everything <laughs> all right so that seems like what was that? I think it's everything in this room <laughs> yep looks like it Always good to see the floating folks. <laughs> Taking a shortcut, you know? Oh, there are snacks. Nice. Always good to have snacks. Is this how we get here normally? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nice. Alrighty. Moving on. What's in the big double doors? Excuse me, what? You sounds like mold usually what that makes that noise. It is mold. gonna say hidden location new correspondence I learned a brand new language the fish taught me you probably don't believe me so I will prove it uh-huh I can't even attempt to read this <laughs> who who lilel me you yeah, no. See? Publish this letter and maybe other fish speakers will get in touch. They'll be able to read my address, even if you can't. Jabini Rog! <laughs> Larry Humbert. Jabini Rog! I wonder what that means. Sincerely, goodbye. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what is that, a personal log? Yeah, personal log. Um, it kind of could be like Simlish. Alrighty, goodbye. Oh, we already went in here. Uh, get out of here. Goodbye. Who needs doors? 
Movie camera. Oh, this is the thing that we saw. Action Max camera, AI 80. Dash UE, the background. The item first came into the Bureau's attention after a hospitalized mailman from Arkansas claimed his injuries had been caused by a movie camera. Further investigation connected the incident to AI-80, which was being shipped in a mail truck at the time. The packaged camera was later found in an empty warehouse. The return address led agents to a P.O. box located in the San Fernando Valley belonging to a company called Blessed Pictures. Whether Blessed Pictures is involved in the creation or the dissemination of the item's VHS films is unknown. See Investigation 13 HQ 612. The following is a list of all known films believed to have been shot by AI-80. First Shoot, Die Last, Unreleased, Coffee Bullet, Billy's First Car, Bike Herd, Delivery Disaster. <laughs> the item use, was used in the filming of an unreleased western in 1968 on the Italian island of Sardinia. A cast member was killed during an onset accident stopping production. It is believed that Blessed Pictures bought the camera when the equipment from the shoot was sold at auction. Okay. But Blessed Pictures... Blessed... They made an effort... So, okay, America Overnight, that last podcast that we heard, they said that the package specifically said have a blessed day with blessed being capitalized and i thought that was weird that's why because blessed pictures is fucking people up with these magical items so they found the fondue thing and they the camera thing and they're actually using it against people and apparently there's a case for it because it says see investigation 13 hq i don't know if they know it's connected to blessed pictures but at least they're somewhat on the radar because, uh-oh, that means that somebody's using these things to their advantage. Which means they're either a pair utilitarian and they're a bad one, or that they are um, unknowingly just using these things knowing that it can hurt somebody. Shift account part three. It's clear no one is coming. We're running out of ideas and supplies. We tried going to the caves to find anything edible, but all we found were noxious gases and endless pits. The crystals only let us go one way. Even though we could see, the caves branched out. We did find some weird spiky pillar. I only got a glimpse of it before the astral spikes attacked. There were a few of them this time. We lost a lot of people. There's only six of us left. We didn't ask for this. We didn't want to come down here. I'm convinced something brought us down here. The other Sam going nuts, but it's clear that this was no house shift. Shifts slide a bathroom sector over or rotate a hallway. They don't drop full divisions into some caves. We were brought here. I know it. But for what? Why tear us away from our lives just to torture us? If this is some sort of test or mission, then here's some advice for whoever's running it. Give out clearer instructions next time. I hope these notes are a good read for whatever ranger finds them. Fuck you. Put that in your report. Gibbs. Yep. They're not gonna be rescued. The question is, does the Bureau know, like she said, or not know? If they know, and they don't give a fuck, Worst that's I've ever the- seen. That's the problem. Is take the nail. End of the world. So I can't let the Hiss take the nail. Not a problem. I know how to handle them. Marshall! I really hope she's not dead. No one else has died. It would be so bug if she's the only one who's dead. I snuck into the foundation through a back door I know. Had to get ahead of the hiss. Just a matter of bypassing the ritual protections. Luckily, the board's as distracted as the rest of the bureau. I had to put on a brave face up there. But the situation is the worst I've ever seen. We're getting back on our feet, but we've already lost so much. Trench is dead. Darling is... somewhere. I'm the only one left. But I still have a job to do. Keep the hiss back. There's not enough HRAs to spare, so I'll have to make do with what I've got. Frankly, I don't even know what will happen if the hiss take the nail. Trench made it sound like it'd be the end of the world. He was never one to exaggerate. Well, orders are orders. 
even if they come from a dead man. So she spoke to Trench? That's significant. Oh. I hope she's not dead. What is that? Can't make it over there. I would try to float, but I know it's too far. Oh, it's so interesting! <gasps> we found it! Oh, we found it! Shit's gonna get real, though. Another etching. Before I do that, is there a checkpoint anywhere? So I don't- whoa. Is that something? No. So I don't just drop dead and show up somewhere. I'm busy! I know I'm the director, but... You guys need to hold on. We're trying to prevent the end of the world! What the heck? Where am I? Whoa! <gasps> I'm all the way up! What the heck? Oh. That's cool. Not what I expected to come out to. Okay, but are there any hidden walls? Any hidden things to break before I go opening this can of worms? Doesn't look like it, to be honest. So, the nail. Huh. Yeah, the cave drawings definitely seem to indicate stuff that is already here. Doesn't seem like there's any hidden places. Break this. I don't have the ability yet. What's behind it? Just stuff. And fangs. If it's a checkpoint, I'll be mad. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The haze is gonna come for me. Oh. Listen. Hurry. Neat. The former? Oh, fuck no. Am I gonna have to face that thing again? Listen, hurry, meet. <laughs> Exit! Progress, jolly good, but two holes. Lollipops are left to- Hello? Hello? Do we or, just get are cut off? Danger, director, or broken, deeper, understand, tool, other, new, forbidden, more, given, former, yours, necessary, go. Okay, what the hell is going on? Oh, I get the Wait, other one! I'm back here? He's giving it to me? The former? Is he a good guy? By the way, this is very satisfying with the way that the triangle might lines up with these these things right there. Like, boom, look at that. Oh, so satisfying. You can do, you can, should, not, better be here, director. Okay, my idea. Blame the eyeball. Blame the eyeball. The other tool, other weapon is forbidden. Former, it, Adrift, is trying to mislead you. Former. Yeah, we've had our differences. But it is giving me something you won't. Oh, yeah, suck it, board. <gasps> Destroy using a service weapon. Oh, ah. oh, fuck yeah. And I can put it back. Oh, hell yeah. Yay! Yay! Okay, so it comes back. I could use that to my advantage. We grow after destruction. Do not think. Do not be ignorant, thick. You're being reckless, disobedient. I don't like you deciding what I can slash can't have. What I can slash can't have! <laughs> I love that. Her passive aggressive. Yeah, who 
told who's, who put you guys in charge? Yeah, baby. Oh, that's very satisfying to be able to have both. That's cool. Is it gonna rebuild it and put it up? Is he gonna put it up? Or did he just, just crush it because it's black rock? Probably just crushed. But that's cool. Whoa, that's really awesome. That the sound is satisfying because you can tell it's heavy. So, like, when it falls, that, like, Thunk is like really... Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Wee! Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know why that's so satisfying, but it is. Wee! So the former is reaching out to us. They, the, you cannot control this. You cannot control your staff. You're mismanaging the bureau self narrative. Well, fuck you. Woo! Not that. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I was trying to get. It. I was trying to let it grow. Come here, buddy. Bye. Nice. 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 Ooh, hi. You should. Bye. One, two, and three. Done and dusted. Ooh, we did it. That whispering. I'm getting pretty tired of being jerked around the astral plane. <laughs> if you're listening, I want some answers. Yeah, this doesn't look right. It's kind of a dark astral plane. Is this where the former is? Or where he was banished to? Oh, he might be a good guy. You said, you guys said that he was also in some... Oh, oh, alone, long, busy, happy. Tunnel, open, grateful. Uh-oh, did we open something? Maybe he's a good guy. Maybe he just wants a hug. And the boards are the dicks that banish them. Watch it be someone we know. Watch the former be like Dr. Darling or something. <laughs> uh, but as I was saying, you guys said Saga's daughter had... Welcome. Welcome. Speak. <gasps> you gonna talk to us? I shoot him? <laughs> Sorry to shoot you in the face if you're a good guy. Oh, I can shoot him. Let's talk first. Uh, hi there. It was nice of you to give me something the board wouldn't. What are you getting out of it? Boy, nothing. Egress. So I'm just supposed to believe you're a particularly charitable, uh, whatever you are? <laughs> Neither. Both. Hungry? Hungry? I mean, yeah, actually, I'd love a sandwich or something. That's not what you meant, was it? Right. Panini, former board. Avalon. Are you part of the board? Panini? Or used to be? Once split board blame. Okay. So you split because the board blamed you for... Inside, beyond, nail, rescue, house, sun, warning. Gotta be easier to play charades. Son, do I need to rescue someone? What if it's Theodore Ash Sr.? 
No. I don't know what I expected. Listen, this has been great, but I have to go. Thanks for your help, and, uh, stay out of trouble. House, listen, nail, leech, burn, go. What was Former trying to tell me about the board? Oh, those Should fuckers I trust are either bad. of them? I would trust the former. Even though we shot him and shot at him twice now. Or it, rather. After we shot at it twice and it came back to help us? Still? You guys? I'm thinking the board fucked up party and all this. We were already suspecting this. <laughs> But, but it said something. Oh, they're locking me in. But it said sun, and then the board split. They split over some sort of disagreement. Obviously, they blamed him for something. The reason I say sun is because one of the only people that we know has like a legacy contact here is Theodore Ash, and he said his father was director. The directors aren't really on the board, but. It seemed like the first for a lot of things happened after the weapon was obtained, which happened during his son's time. So, I don't know. Should I just go down there? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Although it's behind me? It's here somewhere, what? Am I crazy? Huh. Kinda odd. <gasps> okay. Well, I guess I'll just move on. Doesn't look like there's anything else to destroy. So maybe. <laughs> maybe it's just not um, loaded onto the map for some reason. It'd be so funny that Emily being like, oh, she's dropping in. Jesse, you're back. Hi. So did you find anything noteworthy? The yeah. original bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or more accurately, the Rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards. Except for bureau stuff from the 60s. <laughs> hey, the one you found is different than mine. She's having a blast. It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Whoa. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the Rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. <laughs> I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. Okay, good to know. How many do we have? Let's find out, shall we?
Looks like we're missing two, maybe? Already? Anything else from The here? rangers found a section of the containment sector in the caves. But no house shifts occur down here. Strange. How did the Hiss get into the Foundation? Same way we did, I imagine. But you need to remember that the Hiss are the embodiment of persistence. Their nature seems to be one of force, to find every possible vulnerability and exploit it. Their only goal is consumption. I'm sure there's plenty of goodies for them down here. The Nail, for instance. If the Hiss could corrupt the Nail, I'm sure they would have by now. It must not interest them in its broken state. They could be distracted by the numerous unknown paranatural materials I'm sure are lying around. These are the roots of the oldest house. The Hiss will find plenty of ways to make trouble. They're pretty good at that. Wait a second, though. They said... Emily said that they're not interested in the nail if it's broken. So if we fix it, we create another problem with the Hiss. In and of itself. So you've never heard of the Foundation, huh? I've never even seen the name referenced. It, clearly, it's highly classified, but for what reason? If the problem with these kinds of closed-off, hidden areas is that they were likely sealed for good reason. But now, no one is left to tell us what that reason was. Any guesses why the Bureau would hide something like this? I only know what I've observed. This place is spatially rigid, which means it doesn't shift like the rest of the oldest house. And before you ask why that is, I have to admit that I'm clueless. There's some signal interfering with my equipment, making it hard to get a clear reading. It's being emitted from the floor. Maybe I should have brought a jackhammer. <laughs> the astral plane is already taking chunks out of this place, Emily. Let's not add to it. I love the various cutaways they have down here in particular, because like she's talking about their roots of the oldest house and it pulls all the way back to this beautiful wide shot. And then we get this cool like mirrored shot. Um, just really pretty. So let me get this straight. The astral plane is bleeding into the foundation. Correct. And that's happening because the nail is damaged. I'd say it's a bit more than damaged, but yes, that is my understanding. So what's the connection between the nail and the astral plane? It's a good question. See, I always pictured objects of power as strings between our plane and the astral. If the nail has a similar relationship, then maybe it's more accurate to think of it like plumbing. Now that the nail is busted, sewage is gushing everywhere. Not the prettiest metaphor. I nope. should get back out there. Agreed. The astral bleed won't stop itself. Yep. Alrighty. Well, that's certainly something. I won't be. Goodbye. I'd like her enthusiasm. It's very, um, catchy. Her passion. Oh, we got a lot of these. Woo! Max out our shield. I still haven't done this yet. The shield rush. For some reason, I have not done this one yet. Energy will recover while shield is active. Hell yeah, I want that. Oh, we might as well. We have so many. Seize duration? Hell yeah. And we're spent. I think this will be good to have, though. I would love to use this ability. I haven't used it yet. We're almost done with the whole thing! Astral constructs. We did most of them, I think. So we just have to upgrade them. Oh, I didn't do charge. Interesting. I should use the other two <laughs> because I haven't used them. Pierce, I'm not a fan of because it takes forever to recharge. I'm sure that's maybe something we can upgrade in it, but you know. Oh, yeah, collect reward. I love rewards. Thank you. Alrighty. Um, let's see. It looks like we gotta go to the last two sites. 
One's all the way down in the cave system. I thought I found the other one, but it doesn't seem like it's there. So like it's, you guys can see it on the map, like right here. But for some reason, when I passed over it, I didn't see it. So maybe it's like underneath or something like that. Um, and then it looks like we should probably go back to the warehouse area to find some stuff. For the sake of being able to get this episode out, I think I'll call it here. It looks like we're getting a lot of really juicy information about like the former and the board. It is definitely about like the board, um, a, a very much kind of who are they and like what is their purpose, which is I think what we were really experiencing in the last episode. The former coming into play is really interesting. What do you guys think? I mean, I remember reading in the comments when we were playing Control that you guys said not much is known about the former, so I don't know how much information we're going to get about this thing, but it doesn't necessarily seem bad. On the other hand, it could be playing good in order to get in our favor, so it can be later be bad. Um, there is that possibility, but the fact that we have battled it twice now and it still chose to give us a new ability uh, against the board um, is interesting in and of itself. What do you guys make of that? Um, also, let me know if I'm missing something with this yellow thing or if it's just a glitch or something um, where the question marks are. I think it's a uh, something I need to find. There may be a wall or something that I need to bust over there maybe. Um, and then we certainly need to find two more ID cards um, to get to the warehouse. I think that's probably super fruitful. I do think this one's going to be important to get to because I think it's going to give us more information about the foundation um, and maybe about what they were doing down here and maybe what happened that forced them out. I mean, we know that they left because they found a way to properly be in the house, the oldest house, without it collapsing, but um, we now know that there was like a big shift that threw people down here, but the fact that there was something so secret that only f that five people are needed to basically clear this secret lab is interesting. I wonder if it's something that Dr. Darling knew about. I'm My guess is almost certainly. But yeah, anyway. We're almost there, guys. I'm hoping to do this maybe in three episodes. So next episode, I'm hoping that we'll get to research site and the canyon rim, it looks like. And then hopefully we'll be done with the foundation in three episodes. And then we can move on to the dark place, um, the AWE. Uh, DLC. So many letters. <laughs> Anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode for the, hopefully, the last episode of Foundation, and then we can move on to the next DLC. Lots to find always in these, um, in this series. It's honestly staggering how much stuff is in here, so, um, buckle up. We're still digging through all of the stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Bye.